Hello and welcome back. We are in exercise three, the Sumatra Fruit Company. And this exercise, I'm going to show you how to format a worksheet. So we're going to be putting in text, we're going to be putting in numbers, we're going to be center aligning things, merging, making things bold. And once we've got and put in the text and the numbers, I'll show you how to do a formula and how to do a function. So let's get started. Here is my cursor. It's an arrow. If I click in a cell, it becomes a white cross. Now, columns of letters, rows have numbers. If I click in this cell here, this cell reference, this cell address is A1. This one is B3. I want to go into A1. I'm going to hold my left finger down and I'm going to highlight A1, B1, C1. Up here, you see a thing called Merge and Center, a little icon. Click on that, and that makes a nice big cell. In here, I'm going to put in my title. So it's going to be called Sumatra Fruit Company May Sales. Here, I'm going to put in the word fruit as a title. And then I'm going to put in a couple of New Zealand towns, Napier and Hastings. I'm going to center them like I would in a Word document. And then I'm going to put in these five fruit. Magosteen. Now, maybe with Magosteen, your cell is looking a little bit like this, that the word is longer than the cell. If you go up between A and B, you're going to get two black arrows pointing in opposite directions. You can click your left finger down and manually extend it, or you can go between A and B, double click, and do it automatically. So, Magosteen. Next one is Jackfruit. Underneath that, put Starfruit. Underneath that, put Durian. And underneath that, put Rambutan. Okay, now onto some numbers. Now, when it comes to numbers, type them in. You may see some numbers have a comma like this. If you put the comma in, Excel now sees this number as a word. So you're not going to get the right results. So just simply, all the time, just put in the numbers. So now I've got to put in a number. I'll show you again. I haven't put a comma in, but Excel did that automatically. But Excel sees this as a number. OK, so 4300, zero, zero, star fruit, 3400, zero, zero, 500 and 1700. Okay, here we'll put in 1800 and 46, 450, and we're going to put in 1400. Right. Under here, let's put this in capital letters, cap locks on, total. Now then, I want to make a border, so I'm going to highlight my numbers here, and you'll see up here where we can do our borders. If I go down to here, I can click all borders, and we get that. Now, to do a formula, you always start with an equal sign, whether it's a super simple one or a really hard one. You start with an equal sign and you go, I want that one, and you click on it. And you'll see that 2100 zero, zero is a cell reference B3. All right, I'm going to put a plus sign in, and I want this one. I'm going to put a plus sign in, and I want this one, plus sign, this one, plus sign, this one. Now, to show the answer, I simply press return or enter. OK, that's the slow way. And you can see that a formula has been entered because it's found up here. Here's another way of doing it. I'm going to go and click on this here, function. 
and up comes my formula builder and I'm looking for sum. Now if you don't see sum in here, you've got this thing called search. So put in sum and insert function. And you can see that my answer is going to go in here and the computer has automatically selected these. So sum is from C3 to C7. Press enter or return. And there you have it. Make sure that you go and save every time you do the work. And now you have learned how to put in text, how to put in numbers, how to format, and how to use a formula and a function. Uh, the one thing I haven't shown you, and I'll just quickly do that now, is that you can use bold, just like you do in a Word document, by clicking on the B. Okay, we're there. Go and finish that off, and I'll see you in the next exercise. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.